Coming up is part one of the course from MakeThatTrack.com. As a member of our website, you get access to all the links, presets, samples and loops and also project files, including MIDI, for all the tutorials on the site. Enjoy this free tutorial and be sure to check us out at MakeThatTrack.com. Hey everyone, welcome to our FL Studio Deep House tutorial. In this video, we're just going to be setting up our project and uh, setting up our basic drum rhythms. So the first thing that we're going to set up is our tempo. And we're going to be working with 124 BPM. So let's go up here and change this from 130 down to 124. All right, and the next thing we're going to do is set up a custom folder so that we can pull our samples and our MIDI more easily into the project. So we'll go into Options, File Settings, and right here in the middle, we have a bunch of custom folders that we can set. So if I just click on this folder icon, it'll pop up a box and we can navigate to the folder where our samples are saved. And I've already done that. And it'll pop up here, it'll tell you the uh, path of your folder right here in this line. Then we can close this. And then it's gonna be available here on the left on our browser. So I've called the folder that I've set up assets. So over here, we can see that in the browser and I'll just click on that. So now we have our MIDI, our presets, and our samples ready to be used. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do with drums is we're going to set up what's called an FPC. And that's just a native FL Studio device that allows us to drag and drop audio clips onto different pads so that we can create a drum beat with a MIDI pattern or so that we can play our drum kit with a MIDI keyboard. So in order to get an FPC in here, just right click on the pattern window and choose Insert. FPC. Okay, and then it's going to pop up the device here, and we have already a bunch of drum sounds set to these pads. So if we want to uh, set our own pads up, we first need to uh, delete all of these, and how we do that is go up here to the left, and go to presets, and empty, and that's going to get rid of all of the sounds. Okay, and now what we need to do is put our own sounds in here, so we'll go over to our samples folder, we're going to drag in just three samples. So we'll grab my kick, put that up there, and then two claps. Okay, so now I can click on these pads to play those sounds. Or I can press the corresponding uh, note on my keyboard to play those sounds as well. So this clap is set to D sharp 4, as we can see right here. So if I press D sharp 4 on my keyboard, it will play that clap. Okay, another thing we can do is use a MIDI pattern in order to create a drum beat. And I'm just going to go ahead and delete this FPC that we just made because I already have one set up with the same samples and everything. So to get our MIDI pattern started, we're going to right click on FPC and choose Piano Roll. So now we have our score editor. And just to get some notes on the board, all we have to do is click. So we can see on the left here, we have our three samples tied to different notes on the keyboard. So if I just click here on kick, I can create a kick pattern. We'll just have one kick every beat. Okay, and then we'll do the same for our claps, except we'll have them on every other beat. All right, now that our beat is written in, we can go back to the FPC and we can adjust some settings. So if I wanna make my claps a little bit quieter, I can click on them. And then over here, we have a few settings. We can change the panning, which is this knob. We can also change the pitch. And we also have a volume knob right here. So I've already adjusted a little bit, but I might bring them down just a little bit more. I'll bring this volume down as well. Okay, and now if we want to draw this into our song, we'll just go over here onto our timeline, and then we'll click and drag with our brush tool to paint in a few instances of this pattern. And we'll leave uh, the drum at 16 for now, so we'll have 16 bars. Okay, next we're gonna be working with some audio clips. So we're gonna go back into our samples, and let's drag in hi-hat loop two.
Okay, and if we want to play the song instead of the current pattern that we're in, we're gonna go over here to the play button and just to the left, we're gonna click song instead of pattern. Okay, now to give this rhythm a little bit more groove, let's go into our samples and drag in Tom Groove. Okay, and now to fill up a little bit more space, let's go back to our samples and we'll drag in a clap loop. So by making sure that our different loops emphasize different rhythms, we can create a pretty complex groove with only four clips. Okay, so now to finish off our drum kit here, we're going to add in a crash. So we'll just drag our crash into the crash lane. Okay, and every time we drag in an audio clip, it's gonna create a channel over here on the pattern window for us to edit the volume and the panning. So if I wanted to change the crash's volume, I'd go over to where it created a crash channel here, and I can just edit this knob right here. And that's the volume. Right next to that is our panning knob, and we can edit that as well. Okay, and that's gonna do it for our basic drum rhythm. In the next video, we're gonna be setting up a couple instruments for our song. We hope you've enjoyed part one of this course. To continue, please go to the website and select a membership to suit your needs. Welcome to MakeThatTrack.com. At Make That Track, we provide everything you need to make your favorite style of music from start to finish. Our Getting Started series will show a complete beginner where to start and what they need to do to start making music out of the box. Once the basics are grasped, you can learn how to make the genre of your choice with everything that you need in the process. Want to know how to make that elusive sound from your favorite producer's tracks? Check out our How To Make That Sound tutorials. We take the guesswork out and show you exactly what you need to do to get that sound within a few simple steps. With tips on arrangement, mixing, mastering and effects, you'll have everything you need to prepare your tracks to send to a record label and to play in the clubs. Get everything you need to make the music you love today.